The San Francisco Bay Area has always been at the forefront of innovation and research. You are looking at one of the largest life science and green tech research clusters in the country, the Emeryville Berkeley Innovation Corridor. The Emeryville and West Berkeley Corridor is bookended by two major international science company campuses, Novartis to the south and Bayer Healthcare to the north. Symbiotically surrounding these two anchors are nearly 100 other research-based companies. If you compare the biotech corridor along Hollis in Berkeley and Emeryville, there is more square footage there dedicated to biotech than Mission Bay. In the early 1980s, Wareham Development initiated the creation of two campuses dedicated to research and development, inspired by Cetus, Chiron, and Cutter Laboratories, which subsequently became Novartis and Bayer Healthcare. Bayer in Berkeley, uh, the site, for example, is, is more than 100 years old. We took it over in, in the 70s. We are really happy to be here, and we invested over the past 10 years more than 550 million into the Berkeley site. We started Chiron in 1981 with uh, 10 employees. Uh, and uh, when we sold the company in 2008 to Novartis, there were 3,000 people working in Emeryville. It is in both these Wareham campuses that LBNL has already set up satellite operations, the Joint Bioenergy Institute, the New Advanced Biofuels Process Development Unit, the Life Sciences Division, and the Joint Center for Artificial Photosynthesis. These modern, custom-built research facilities have been designed and constructed to meet the specific needs of the very LBNL user groups that will be incorporated into the first phase of the second campus. Though independent, these satellite operations have seamlessly been integrated into the LBNL umbrella of operations via telecommunications and triangulation of shuttle routes, which provide the ability to collaborate with sister LBNL operations, as well as with the private sector. In these times of scarce resources, how can LBNL create this second campus? How has this been successfully done in the past? There's a track record here. We fought the wars on biotechnology when Chiron first came to this city. There were many advantages to us of being in Emeryville, but probably most important was the forward-looking city administration. I don't think we could have found a better place to do Chiron than Emeryville. How many cities actually uh, thought of what they wanted to achieve as a city, put together a plan, and then executed on that plan. Our general plan reflected on the biotech and high-tech industry, and we incorporated that into the future of this city. That is our focus. In this case, we really found Emeryville and Berkeley partnering with the extension of the Enterprise Zone, and that really helped us to convince our top management that uh, this is a place which really has the full support also from the community. The essence of our proposal is to be cost effective and to utilize approved facilities in either the Emeryville campus exclusively, the Berkeley campus exclusively, or in a combination of these two cities and the two campuses. Why have these two cities, Emeryville and Berkeley, been so successful at attracting and retaining the best and brightest researchers and their respective research companies? Amenities. The ability to attract the best and the brightest to this particular area has allowed it to flourish. And because of that, it was able to have the infrastructure, have the attractive resources and amenities in place to continue its transformative evolution. Being in Emeryville, in sort of the heart of the Bay Area, was a big factor for us uh, in recruiting the kind of people we wanted to have in the company. Half our employees in the end were PhDs, MDs, or attorneys who were attracted to the excitement of an urban location. You know, you, you move into Emeryville and you just walk outside, you know, the door of Amherst and there's like five great places to eat within a block, probably 50 great places to eat within three blocks. It's a place where you can both live close to work and find the amenities that you're looking for when you're in work mode. Transit. We are a transit-rich city. We were the first city in the state of California in 40 years to build an Amtrak station. We have this marvelously successful Emery Go Round. The Emery Go Round is free of charge for all to use. 
its ability to move people to BART, to San Francisco, and now we've expanded this service so that you have the Emory go round going to most of South Berkeley. Wow, what a drag if you have to get in your car every day for an hour, you know, to get to work. Our employees come from all over the Bay. Uh, we have a lot of young people who live in San Francisco. We have folks who live all over the East Bay. We have several folks uh, in Marin. We found that Emeryville is a very easy place to get to. There is a big focus on environmental issues in our general plan. We've moved ahead with our climate action plan, which is very serious. I think the expansion of uh, Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory uh, right here in the, the West Berkeley corridor is really the best place to do business. I say that because it would make the carbon footprint much smaller. We have an obligation to contribute back to society, whether it be for the carbon footprint of where the materials come from, the carbon footprint of what energy systems we put in place, taking care of what came before us and making it better. Fortunately for us, the type of tenants we have had have shared that philosophy and vision. Collaboration. So we would be very excited if LBNL would uh, join us here in, in the Berkeley Emerald Corridor. Being able to partner with uh, employees from LBNL would be a great other attraction for us and I think for many of the other companies in innovation in the East Bay Corridor. From a recruiting standpoint, you know, you show them uh, this location and their proximity to other scientists. It's intuitive to scientists that you need to be connected to that community and this gets you that connection. The other thing which is critical about the location is the juxtaposition of two major universities and Children's Hospital. We could very easily get to the Berkeley campus. Uh, of course, now J-Bay's right upstairs, so we interact with their scientists. Just last week, I had an opportunity to visit QB3. Uh, here, you will allow for the best and the brightest of minds to congregate, come up with ideas. Those dreams will be realized. A uh, product will be developed locally, nationally, and internationally. This is the best site uh, for that collaboration. When you see the platforms and the science that's used to cut the cost of malaria drugs being used to manufacture perfume and biofuel, it wakes you up to the reality that anything is possible. Economics. How do we navigate these challenged economic times in one of the greatest clusters in the world? We balance existing facilities and newly constructed facilities with the idea that there's flexibility to allow these researchers to contract and expand while still maintaining their core facilities for the second campus. When we were first there, we didn't have the capital to build anything, but we found the blend of owning property and leasing property to be really advantageous because of the flexibility it gave us. It's tough to get federal funding. The Gallo Center has been very successful but I would think the ability to jump in and use existing facilities to do research instead of to build buildings uh, would be the better choice. All the basic structures are in place for you to move forward in a fashion that will work within a budget. <laughs> well, the only trepidation I have about uh, fully endorsing Emory Station for LBNL is, you know, Amherst has more expansion plans too. <laughs> If I have one message, the message would be very simple. That this should not be a contest, it should be a race. We need LBNL's research now. The planet needs it, commercial application needs it. We don't have time to wait. We have already an established uh, set of, of life science companies which are focused on innovation, and I think uh, there's a real chance with LBNL joining us in addition that this could make a significant difference in innovation and, and really progress uh, for humanity.